Special angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Special angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees. A 60 degree angle can be constructed as follows with just a ruler and a compass. Part A. Construct an equilateral triangle with sides of length 2 units. So equilateral triangle means a triangle with 3 equal sides and 3 equal angles. And the 3 equal angles will have to be 60 degrees each because 180 divided by 3 is 60. So an equilateral triangle has 3 equal sides and 3 equal angles, all of the angles being 60 degrees each. So construct an equilateral triangle with sides of length 2 units. So, for example, here is our equilateral triangle. Each of the angles is 60, and each of the sides measures 2 units. Part B, bisect one of the angles in the triangles. So, bisect means cut in half. So, for example, if we bisect the angle at the top here by dropping a perpendicular, we end up cutting the triangle into two equal right angle triangles. There's the right angle down there and this angle will be 30 degrees because 60 degrees divided by 2 is 30 degrees. So we have a 90 degree angle here, a right angle, 60 degree angle here and a 30 degree angle here. And if we have cut the triangle into two equal triangles and if the lengths were originally two units across then the length of this new triangle is now one unit. So this is the base of the triangle. So the side length is still two units. This length is now the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle. So this is two units, this is one unit. We do not know what this length is. Then x be the distance from the vertex of the bisected angle to the opposite side. So this is the vertex or the corner of the bisected angle. So this distance is going to be x. Part D, use the theorem of Pythagoras to find x. So Pythagoras' theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The c represents the longest side. So in the case of this triangle, this right angle triangle, which is inside the equilateral triangle, the 2 is the hypotenuse, so the 2 is the longest side. So that gets labelled as C. We're going to label the X as A and the 1 as B. So substituting into our formula, we have, instead of C squared, we have 2 squared equals, instead of A squared, we have X squared, plus instead of B squared, we have 1 squared. So we have 2 squared equals x squared plus 1 squared. So 2 squared is 4 and 1 squared is 1 and bringing the 1 over the equal sign becomes minus 1. So we get 4 minus 1 which is 3. So x squared is equal to 3 so x is equal to the square root of 3. So this distance here is the square root of 3. So from the triangle we have sine of 60 degrees, so this is 60 degrees, is going to equal root 3 over 2. So sine of 60 is going to equal O over H, so that's SO, S-O-H. Sine of 60 equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. So sine of 60 degrees equals root 3 over 2. Cos of 60 degrees equals 1 over 2. So cos... 60 degrees equals 1 over 2. We're going to use Ka from Sokotoa, so C-A-H. So that stands for cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent being 1 and the hypotenuse being 2. So Ka stands for cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So get cos of 60 equals 1 over 2. And then tan of 60 degrees so tan, so when we think of tan, we think of toa. So toa from Sokotoa. Toa stands for tan equals opposite over adjacent. So tan of 60 degrees equals the opposite, which is root 3, over the adjacent, which is 1.
So tan of 60 degrees equals root 3 over 1, which is equal to root 3. And also, if we're using 30 degrees, sine of 30 degrees equals so. So we think of so when we think of sine, so from Sokotoa. So stands for sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 30 degrees equals opposite, which is 1, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So we get sine of 30 degrees equals a half. Cos, when we think of cos, we think of ca. So ca stands for cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos of 30 degrees equals adjacent, which is root 3, over hypotenuse, which is 2. So cos of 30 degrees equals root 3 over 2. And tan, tan of 30 degrees, when we think of tan, we think of toa, which is tan equals opposite over adjacent. So tan of 30 degrees equals opposite, which is 1, over adjacent, which is root 3. So tan of 30 degrees equals 1 over root 3. And the other special angle that we will see is the special angle of 45 degrees. So a 45 degree angle can also be constructed with just a ruler and a compass. Step A, construct a right angled isosceles triangle with equal sides of one unit in length. So here we have a right angled triangle, but it's also isosceles, because this length is one unit and this length is one unit. So they're equal lengths. So this is an isosceles triangle. Part B, let x be the length of the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse, it's the longest side. And part C, use the theorem of Pythagoras to find x. So we need to find this distance. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem, which states that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So the c is the longest side, so x is going to be c. And then the other two sides get labelled as a and b, it doesn't matter which way you label them. So we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared, c being the longest side, so c being x. So we have x squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So x squared equals 2, so x equals the square root of 2. So x is the square root of 2. So the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. Now, this angle 45 degrees, where did this come from? Well, since this is an isosceles triangle, and this is 90, 180, take away 90, will leave us with these two angles. And 90 divided by 2 is 45. So both of these angles must be 45 degrees because it's an isosceles triangle. And we have two equal angles in an isosceles triangle. So from the triangle, if we label it H, A and O. So H being the hypotenuse, O being the opposite and A being the adjacent. So the hypotenuse is the longest side. So that's h, root 2. The opposite is always looking opposite the actual angle. So 1 is labelled as o. And the adjacent is the other side. So this is also happens to be 1. So sine of 45 degrees. So when we think of sine, we think of so. So sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite being 1, the hypotenuse being root 2. So sine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. Cos, when we think of cos, we think of ca. So cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos of 45 degrees equals the, the adjacent, which is 1 over the hypotenuse, which is root 2. So cos of 45 degrees equals 1 over root 2. And then tan, when we think of tan, we think of toa. So toa stands for tan equals opposite over adjacent. So tan of 45 degrees equals opposite, which is 1, over the adjacent, which is 1. And 1 over 1 is 1, so tan of 45 degrees is 1. These ratios appear on page 13 of your formulae and tables, although it is very important that you get familiar with them. So you don't necessarily have to learn them all off by heart, but do be familiar with them.